Hi folks, uh, welcome back to my channel once again. Today I will be showing you how we can uh, configure this uh, wireless N300 uh, 4G LTE router. So I have ordered the product and then it has arrived. So I will be showing you because uh, some of you asked me how uh, is this brand for use at home. And then the, some of you tell me to show how the configuration should be done. So I will be going step by step to show you all the products. So let's unpack this product first of all and we will see what is inside. So let's open up that. We'll pull out this plastic here. Okay, so now this one will open up. So you can see the model number as well here. Nice and clean. Okay, so let's pack this. Okay, and we have also have a so this is a product manual. So if you want to go through, we can also go through this product manual. So let's give us some of those things and let's so as you can see this is the D-Link router and we have uh, all these things here and then we also have a LAN cable here we have adapter we also have the telephone RG11 and its cable there then we have our antennas so these are the products uh, things well, all thing you will get all this inside I just have a look if these things are not available then you have to return the products and get a new one okay so let's start the configuration here so first of all this is the antenna that you will be getting two antennas here so this is the antenna place so you can just put here and then you can rotate it and make it tight so you can just bend it then also and the good thing about here this one is like if this antenna is not uh, good enough strong enough then you can also put extra antennas in your house top and there's uh, always uh, extra antennas available online as well okay if it is tight now you can bend so there's a place where you can bend not every direction so now you can see it will stand on your table and all like this nice thing and you can see then where is the place to put the seam here just below here this is a place where you can uh, seam slot it is given here so this is place where uh, we will be uh, putting the seam here so uh, I got this airtail uh, seam extra so should be working fine okay so now let's even take it out this power adapter and then we can connect to the power and check it out okay and then we will be also needing this one for connecting to the, our uh, computer but this is a little bit short so I'll be needing a longer one so I have extra that so I'll keep that one and then this is a telephone wire which will be also needing to see how the telephone is working here so let's put adapter so this is adapter and this is the on off power button and now what I want to do is like let's put the seam so I have a seam airtel which is extra so as you can see how do we put the seam is you have to see that the link here front side even the airtel should be facing each other here so you just insert it this way not this way this is all done so you have to see that the seam slot is like this and you place it nicely and then there will be a locking sound there it make in the locking sound so that is fitted nicely otherwise it will fall once again so there is a kind of spring for locking that so you make sure it is locked well and just here there's a sticker of this dealing and they used to give here the SSD uh, name of this Wi-Fi and the password is given there uh, it is a default but you can reset that uh, going inside this one so what I'll be using here is I will be using this LAN to go to my uh, computer so I have extra cable so I will plug this cable which is to my computer so I will plug 
to the LAN connection. So I will plug this LAN connection wires. Okay, so let's put here. Okay, it is locked. And now let's fix this adapter to the switch board. Okay, let me plug that. Okay, so I have plugged that now. That's on the power. Okay, so now you can see the light is blinking, the power is on. And then we have this uh, 2.4 gigahertz, which is uh, for this Wi Fi to work, uh, it's uh, 2.4 gigahertz. Land is still not blinking, internet is already red, and we did not get any a single tower still. So we will wait for this few seconds till this tower come up. Then we will check in our computer the speed of how much we can get it. And the uh, Wi-Fi is not working or not, we will also check that. So okay, so let me plug up this land. So I will show that uh, first of all the Wi-Fi. So let me plug out this LAN so that I can show you first the Wi-Fi is connected or not. So now we can see the signal strength. It is already here. Okay, so now let me show you how internet is getting or not. So uh, we will go to our uh, computer. And then uh, we will see the Wi-Fi is appearing. So it's appearing here. So the name I have put is this way. So let's connect that. And uh, yeah, so it's connected. It's connected. Now we will go open our browser and see the speed. So let me open this Google Chrome. And we will see how the speed. Right now I'm getting all the signal. A full the three tower I'm getting the last one is still pending there so let's go to this one and go to the fast.com and we'll see the speed here so as you can see the speed is picking up it is in kbps now I'm going to the mbps now I'm getting 28 29 30 it is up and down but I'm getting this 20 above mbps which is good speed right now I'm getting the full tower so right now I'm getting the 24 mbps so that means uh, it is a good signal strength I'm getting a full signal I'm getting right now okay we just see okay so vegetables yeah so now you can see go to the images of this one so you can see the different type of uh, vegetables so it is uh, making sure that our internet is working just to show you that and the speed is fine and our that means now our Wi-Fi is working well and then let me disconnect this now and I want to check even the LAN so let me disconnect this Wi-Fi disconnect this okay so now let me plug the LAN connection and show you even the LAN is working fine okay so now once again now we can see the LAN is, is also it's connected right now you can see it's connected so let me open up this once again and uh, let me refresh the speed once again so we will see the LAN is also yeah so now it is picking up in Wi-Fi you are getting the 24 Mbps and all here in the LAN you are getting 12 Mbps So fashion, you can see the fashion there. Okay, so that's just to show that the internet is working. Uh, it's up and down, so the signal depending on the tower that you're getting. So it's a good speed. And the good thing about this one is like uh, you are getting even the LAN connection here, and you can also use this Wi-Fi, this world, uh, hotspot for your uh, uh, like uh, or IP phone. And then you can also use for IP camera, you can also use for your laptop, and you can also use for your phone and all that. So it's a good, uh, you know, according to your price. So now uh, uh, the next step is I'll be showing you whether our telephone will be working or not. So we will be using this RG11. Uh, this is RG11 for the uh, telephone. So we will also test this one. So we will just plug into this RG11 and then 
we will be needing one telephone so I have a telephone at home so I will demonstrate with that so here this is my telephone and uh, this RG11 from which is coming from the router I will place to this one here okay so it's plugged in there and I need a power adapter for this so my power adapter I will just connect to this telephone here okay so make sure the telephone is also working so now the power on yeah you can see the power is on so now let me check as you can see that so let me try to dial my number there okay so this is so I can just grab that so as you can see it is ringing there so it's ringing uh, now uh, we will also test uh, from my mobile uh, to ring to my this um, telephone whether it will be ring uh, will come on or not. let's see so I will this is my Airtel number so I will just call to this phone and see whether that ringing. so as you can see it is ringing okay so I can cut away so now I cut and if I call from here again from my telephone I can also call just call and the ring will come again here call in my phone call that phone. as you can see my phone also is ringing now so that is how uh, you can see now everything is configured the good things I can call from the outside and in this phone also is working so now your works are done so here your LAN is working your telephone is working and nothing you have to do just plug the RJ11 to this router and then just connect to the phone so directly you can use that router has been uh, very useful and it is uh, just not uh, it's a uh, very handy and then uh, it's not occupying much space so you can just place in one corner or your on your table so and uh, it's a very kind of you know trendy little bit and then you can just you know kind of you yeah, know robotic look likes also so I hope uh, guys uh, you like this video and I hope this video has been informative for you and uh, please don't uh, forget to subscribe like and share uh, because I'll be making new new videos so and then uh, also don't forget to press the bell button to get all the updates for the new coming videos thank you see you in the next video